Hi everybody and welcome to me making a mess, more than likely. I see my sis from another mister, Miss Helen. I What's up, Helen? Mary and Daddum. And Mommy. Mommy and Daddy are driving to the farm. Hello, Rose. Trouble, Ryan. And I guess you're going to be flirting with Nightbot again tonight. Hey, Brenda. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Why are you lying already, uh, Rose? You're <laughs> the sweetest and nicest person. I think Shirley would debate that with you. Oh, geez. Let's not get this. Let's not carry this over two shows deep, okay? Well, look, I was uh, a little out of it last night, so I couldn't join in the fun. Oh, so. we've been out of it all week. Oh. I'm still dealing with it, so if uh, it goes to just being the PJ show, I'll <laughs> be in the bathroom. That would be fun. I'll be in the bathroom still. <laughs> so I'll sing them a tune. How about that? I don't know if they'll like that either. <laughs> Hi, Joyce. Thanks for stopping by. And Andrea. Hey, Jada. What up, Andrea? Hey, Donna Burroughs. What's up? Donna. All right, people. I am going to be doing something that's been going around on the old YouTubers. At least it was a year or so ago. Um, I saw Pink Poodle Crafts do it. I saw... Uh, Link in the description if you want to watch the original video after ours. Not during. <laughs> not during. I saw... Um, hey, Se Tina. Secret of Soto do it. Um I didn't put that link in because yeah, I'm a no. slacker. I know, that's all right. Well, in all honesty, you didn't give me the link. No. You have to earn your stripes as the art bitch. <laughs> so it is taking, whether they're used, unused, uh, rewritable CDs. We have tons of them because PJ is a nerd and a geek, and I used to be a nerd and a geek. Still am a little bit, not as much. Um... So we have tons of these that we never actually got around to burning uh, music or anything else that shall not be mentioned because it may not be entirely legal. <laughs> One to them. So figured let's give it a whirl and see how much of a mess we can make and how many toxic fumes we can fill the house with. Always fun. Always fun. Uh, so it is taking your CDs, which they don't have to be rewritables or writables. They can be, you know, Britney Spears solo album. Yeah. You know, music that you don't like, don't know why you bought it. It had that one song that they overplayed on the radio and you can't stand it anymore. This is the best form of revenge. <laughs> Make pretty stuff out of them. So we're going to do mosaic, mosaic, tiles uh, out of these and to do this obviously you need the CDs um, I was going to try and use packing tape because it's clear I tried one earlier just to make sure I could at least do some of this and I like the fact that with the clear if I wanted to try and use this for something, it could almost look like impromptu, impromptu um, gold leaf or silver leaf in this Heck, case. You might even be able to make uh, 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 washi tape with it. Probably. Probably could do that. I'm sure um, where the foil actually is, you could probably even do alcohol inks on it and it oh, would probably work. We've got to try it. Uh, but we've got to try it. I, if I end up having to use the uh, duct tape, which I really don't want to do because I don't like out. that and I don't like duct tape. Um, For shame. Because the first one I did as a practice run to see how much of a mess I'd make, when I used the packing tape, it got part of this off, but it seemed to leave a little bit of it behind, which in the videos that, that I saw, they said, oh, that's fine. It'll work and you won't have a problem well i tried to put some paint on them put them in the oven and while the one 
the foil kind of melted away and you couldn't see it and you could actually see the paint in between the two pieces. The other one, it almost looked like it started to morph into some sort of alien creature. Mighty morphin' time! And it, it was just horrible. So we're going to try shipping tape again and we'll try the duct tape if we have no luck with the shipping. And you need something sharp and scratchy. Scissors will work. Um, it helps if you're trying to get your tiles to be at least somewhat the same size to have a grid. Uh, this is a self-healing mat. It has the grid on it. Not that I'll need it to cut, but it's already drawn out for me. I didn't have to sit there and math, which yay and do lines and try and make them straight already done for me but if you know you, if you have something in mind that you know hey that would be cool and it's going to be on like a uh, card or something small or something that doesn't have a lot of backing these are good because unlike actual tile tile they are very light even once you have you know two layers of it so you could do a mosaic on a card, so if you want it smaller bits, you know, you just draw it smaller, cut it smaller, means more cutting, M makes it a little more difficult. The bigger the pieces, the easier it is, but, and a Sharpie, obviously, and um, the Sharpie will show if you're doing light colored colors of paint uh, on the edges, so if that's going to bother you, you can just take alcohol and a paper towel and wipe it off. Uh, from what I heard in the different videos I watched, glitter and probably paint with glitter already in it doesn't seem to work that well because the glitter itself tends to want to melt. So then that gives you blank spots that don't have paint. So if you want that look, go for it. Uh, I actually don't want to go for that look, but I do have some really pretty glitter paint that I'll probably end up using anyway, so trial and error, trial and error. Probably more error than anything, but we'll give it a go. So first step will be scrape. Now you don't need to try and actually make a divot into the plastic you're really just trying to give yourself a starting point that the tape will be able to get a hold of it and then pull it off. So just start on the edge. It looks like it went through. And we'll start with the shipping tape. Now the one thing that they did say when you go to put these in the oven is to let them sit for like an hour, give the paint a chance to dry a little bit. And I was wondering, well, why do you need to do that? Won't the heat of the oven help you? I know, Linda, but art, you have to suffer for your art. The window will be open. <laughs> I'll make sure of it. And, you know, it might be a good head high. Who knows? <laughs> um, it isn't. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> so, we will see what we will see with this. Huh? Well, that worked a little better. And I have to say, in the future, I am going to see if there is a good chemical solution for dissolving the aluminum and label on the top of a CD. That way we don't have to endure this, uh, this much, or at least loosen it up, you know. That way packing tape will work without scoring. 
That way we can get good aluminum foil tape out of it. See how it's... I don't know if you guys can see. But it's getting most of it, but it's leaving a lot of that shiny behind, which from previous attempt, not such a good thing. So let's see what happens with the old quack quack tape. No, that's not. No, I got some. I think these are just so old <laughs> they don't want to come off. Yeah. So. Not as sticky. I don't know that that's any better, so we'll go back to this. If I was a good stream host, I would have had a lot of these already done, but... Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> too well. Let's try going this way. There we go. Hey Nancy, thanks for stopping by. Hey, how are you Nancy? Wait, Dawn, what's up? I didn't see you come in there. Dawn's a ninja. Very, very sneaky. This... This, along with melting those beads, if I ever get beads to melt, would probably be a really good reason to have a toaster oven. <laughs> Sit that sucker outside. Yeah. Ooh. Mama B wants to know, from mile marker 164 on Interstate 81 southbound, <laughs> what are you guys going to do with the shiny tape now? I don't know. If I can mount it some way onto something. I don't know. I could probably do something with it with the alcohol ink. I th I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So I got a bone to pick with, uh, with, with uh, Nightbot. Nightbot? And I just asked Nightbot, who gets to win a date with Nightbot tonight? And, uh, well, don't you know, it picked Rose Ryan. <laughs> but unfortunately, Rose does not subscribe to this channel. Rose? Rose! What's wrong? What did we do to insult you? Don't you love us? Is I mean, there, is there not enough cussing for you, Rose? Is that what the problem is? Ah, oh, <laughs> shit. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Rose says, your ass is grass. <laughs> All right. 
I think I'm going to have to give you this to put somewhere. I'm going to have a big lump of tape set oh, over here. Yeah, that's that That would be no bueno. No bueno. No bueno. No bueno. I'll have to just, yeah, I'll, I'll do my best to keep this out of the way by putting it on a plastic bag. Okay. Okay. No, no. Somewhere in the pit of doom that is my crafty area. I do have cotton balls, but darned if I can find them. They done run off. And Miss Helen, you will be glad to know that all of the crafty bits, for the most part, that I needed to... Not that I needed to, but I wanted to make for you are complete. And we should be getting that loaded up, boxed up, and headed your way soon. Yes. Hey, Malika, how are you? Thanks for coming tonight. Hi, Malika. Thanks for stopping by the mess that I'm making. Breaking out the 99% alcohol, are you? Well, I was hoping to get some of this residue <laughs> off. <laughs> residue. Because <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's scratched. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the more scratched, the better. I don't know about all that. That's the one reason I didn't want to mess with alcohol inks tonight. I didn't want to screwed up stomach smelling alcohol is not the best thing right now. I don't know what it is about alcohol in you. What? Like, yeah, I don't know why you dis... I like don't the mind smell the smell of, of alcohol. It's when my stomach's messed up and then being overwhelmed by it, it, it gets a little old. See, and now I can't see my damn lines. I thought I was being so smart. But... I've been foiled by the foil. Huh. Huh. All right. So, we'll scoot you up. And Whereabouts are you from, Malika? It's only 7.48 p.m. here. I mean, don't get me wrong. Thank you for, uh, you know, for watching us from the bed. If I could do this in bed, that would be awesome. No, no, it would not. What? Why? Be because you'd have a, a an oversized uh, pit bull, an undersized pit bull, and an oversized male, uh, all trying to lick, grope, and uh, seek your attention. You decide which one gets what. What? You don't want glitter in the bed and paint? And... Nah, not really. Well, you're no fun. I mean, dimethicone, sure. Dimethicone? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I am sure. Oh, wow. Malika's from Belgium. 1.45 a.m. That's not too bad, I guess. But okay. if you're sleep deprived, yeah, you should definitely, uh, well, you, use my subtle voice mm. to lull you off to sleep. Yeah, but then she hears my screeching and it wakes her right <laughs> up again. <laughs> Screech, screech, screech. There's no such thing as TMI, Rose. Well, while Carrie is cutting and and drawing and and plotting uh let me remind you guys we have a website epiphanycraft.com and if you'd like to check that out please do so and uh we also have facebook and twitter so uh subscribe follow friend share thumbs up like uh whatever the hell you guys want to do or be like rosen don't do any of it 
Yes, because apparently Rose is uh, not a subscriber. <laughs> At least Nightbot is telling me that. And using uh, tin snips, I, th I guess, are the technical term. Yes. I call them sharp, cutty metal things. That's the, that's the super technical term, yes. I was able to actually cut the first CD I played with with regular scissors, but ow, that hurts the hands. Yes, it does. And unless you're a huge control freak, these do not have to be perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Every episode, man, people keep on commenting about this silky smooth voice of mine. Ugh. Well, thank you, everybody. And I'm on my bad mic. If I uh, if I got on my good mic, uh, you would you. I think I think there would be some moist in the room. Oh my god, dude! Seriously? No, because people would spit coffee like Tina. She said, "Oh my god, I spit coffee on that one." I haven't gotten your spoon decorated yet, but you wait. You just wait. That spoon. What, are, you, are you promising a spanking? Oh, you're not going to like this. <laughs> hey, as long as you're not using the back end vertically. Uh, <laughs> We've covered this. You okay, can move along. Just, just checking. Move along. I didn't know if things had changed. Move along. I was not aware of the status. Uh, uh. Well, you enjoy watching Carrie snip with the uh, sharp, shiny, tinny, snippy thingies, whatever, what it, what it was. I don't, I can't remember the <laughs> super technical term, but uh, yes, uh, I will be back. I'm going to grab uh, some water and I'm going to turn on the oven. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. They have to dry for an hour, dude. What part of they have to dry for an hour did you, like, totally I miss? was ignoring that whole part. You, you're you going to get fired as art, bitch. You know, if I'm not producing the show, who the hell's going to do it? I've told you. I can sit over here in my little corner and just keep myself... <laughs> Happy. <laughs> look at this. Look at look at this. First she doesn't subscribe to the channel, Nightbot said so, and now she calls me TJ. TJ. <laughs> what wow. <laughs> hey Tracy, how are you? Uh, Rose, call him Sniggle Fritz. Screw you, woman. Sniggle Fritz. Yeah, Kiki is uh, insisting that uh, husbands should do this part of the project. Well, when I am her husband, uh, <laughs> then I will do it. Bazinga. Talk about TMI. Oh. Linda said, my sperm from the moon page. And uh, Rose is uh, yeah. stating, uh, Linda's got sperm? Hmm. Yeah, her I wasn't even going to go that far, Rose. Her little spermies. They were very well drawn spermies. Ah. I'm surprised he's letting me use sharp objects. I usually cut myself. <sighs> Haven't had stitches in a while. That'll be fun. Right, honey? What's that now? I said I'm surprised you're letting me use sharp objects. I usually cut myself. Your name is not <laughs> Link. You know, retin link. And I haven't had stitches in a while, so that could be fun. I'm sure the stitches will come. And just remember, snitches do, in fact, get stitches. Her, her, her. Ugh, 
keep going under my keyboard. Well, stop it! Well, I'd, I guess I'd rather have them go under than in. I don't know. There. Mr. Velvet voice. Come on, Helen, you're just being nice. Mm. Now, back to the smooth hits of the 80s, 90s, and today. Uh. <laughs> right here on Epiphany need to FM. Stop. You need to stop <laughs> complimenting him. You all only see him for an hour or two a week. I have to live with this person. <laughs> he gets this big head. You can't live with him. I'm telling you. Ah, uh, it's really not that bad. She's just uh, trying to make comedy value. No. <laughs> no. Malika wants to know: Is that your husband talking? Uh, almost husband. Been together fifteen years. I so. do have some nice things that I'm going to go grab and show on cam. Speaking of husbands. Uh, now, the center of the CD you really don't want, so I'm trying to pair these up with ones that I can kind of get to be the roughly the same size and they don't have to be perfectly square and you know, they can be really any shape you want they're your tiles do with them what you will oh, don't go down in there I just put something on your uh, desk. If you'd like to uh, show the camera when you Why do get a chance. Busy? Well, fine. I guess I'll do it too. Do you want to do the arting? Uh, do you want me to do the arting? <laughs> no. I don't share my toys. That's mine. That's yeah, his. Yeah, right. <laughs> Whoops. Not the best light, but yeah, those are our, our wedding bands. We just got them. And uh, now we just have to get that license done. Yay. I can't get it off. I told you that one was going to be yours. No, mine. Oh. Which... You just want an excuse to wear it. Well, sure. Don't you? What, wear my ring? Of course! Eh. Eh. Excuse me? <laughs> well, screw you! <laughs> I'll return yours and get a Buick. <laughs> it wasn't that expensive. That's why I said Buick. It still wasn't even that expensive. <laughs> I'll let you off cheap. Yes, see, I've been, uh, I've been vetoed by Jada. She says no arting. <laughs> Rose, why are you trying to comment on those legs of mine? You know you love them. <laughs> you can't stop staring, can you? Thanks, Andrea. She says they are awesome rings. Thanks, Andrea. And Kiki, I said, eh, about the ring because I'm not a the typical female. I don't wear a lot of jewelry. I don't even own a lot of jewelry. I have my engagement ring. I think I have... Like three pairs of earrings. No, I have one, two, three. Yeah, you're right. Three pairs of earrings <laughs> that I can wear that won't turn my ears green because I'm allergic to anything that isn't 
real gold, real silver. Just so I don't typically wear necklaces. If I do, it's once in a blue moon. <laughs> Helen says, "Oh shit, did I miss the rings again?" <laughs> They're on Facebook. Uh, they are on the Seventy Acres Art Flock group, which you're a member of, Helen. So uh, go check them out. We posted. I wonder if I cut two of them at the same time. Don't press your luck, woman. Why? Because I don't want to lose my eye. You got protective eyewear on. And take it from someone who's lost the tip of their thumb before. You don't want to do that. I can't help it that you don't know how to use knives correctly. Wait a minute. It's not my fault. Dadams in the chat room says, Mama B says Sanjay should not be driving. <laughs> no, he should not. Not if he's the one chatting. <laughs> Pull over. Well, no, she's driving. She's saying he shouldn't be driving. She always drives. She is the driver. Well, yeah, I know that. And somebody had said that Sanjay should be driving so Mama B can art. Uh, well, and no. she said no, Sanjay <laughs> should not be driving. Okay, see, I missed the first part. See, I was I too busy. To... Get... I was getting rings. I, I'm not even reading the chat room and I can I was in show and tell mode. I'm in arting mode. I have sharp, th pointy things in my hand. Me, 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 me. <sighs> Ow, come on. Don't throw that. See, I would not do it while the stream is live. If you see the Please stand by, and I come back alone. You'll know why. <laughs> you will know why. If there's blood on them sharp, tinny, snippy thingies, <laughs> you know why. No, they will get washed up. I don't want it on my art. See, she cares about her <laughs> art. Uh, let me take this edge off. So I saw a question earlier on in the uh, in the chat. Uh, when is the wedding? We are going to do a justice of the peace thing, just you know, or we're going to have our friend marry us. Uh, essentially, just get her done because we've been together fifteen years, and we do want to just get it done. Uh, now we will be having a celebration slash party slash whatever you want to call it, uh, probably at a at a bar that uh, we we frequent all the Booze. time. And really good Mexican food. And, uh, you know, anyone who wants to come, uh, we'll give you the address. <laughs> they have excellent margaritas. They have amazing margaritas. And they're, like I said, that I, that I mentioned, they're Mexican food. Oh. Everything's made in-house, including the salsas. Oh, for crying out loud, show the rings. Now I got to go get them again. <laughs> That's like the third person. <laughs> All right. I am getting the rings. Tape your eyelids. Don't blink. I'm getting the rings. <sighs> oh, yeah. You know, it would probably help if we had that on. Ooh. I got a mess. Messy, messy, messy. Ain't it pretty? Now I do have autofocus turned off on this camera because it likes to pulse in and out. <laughs> uh, that's what she said. Um, so I, uh, it's not going to be in focus as much as I would like, but look at what you did. I got one in my brush cleaning water. Oh, awesome. I can't take you anywhere. So there's hers. That's close enough. And not that anyone cares about stupid old Patrick's ring. Mm -hmm. But that is uh, tungsten carbide with uh, some, uh, blue, I think, blue carbon fiber in the middle. But it's, it's glossed over in some kind of polish. Or Polish. I don't know. Can you dump that in the trash, please? While you're up anyway. There you go, old name. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Alright. 
going to go ahead and slap some paint on the first batch. That way while I'm attempting to get the label and cut up another one, it can sit and dry uh, for a little bit before it gets thrown in the oven. Because apparently wet paint and broiler do not mix too well. Got a ton of bubbles. So... <laughs> Show the legs. Rose and them legs. <laughs> like, are you at all jealous that Rose wants a piece of my body? <laughs> See, that's the thing. She can't just have a piece. She has to have it all. That way she can have the full kit and caboodle. And the full <laughs> PJ experience. <laughs> Trust me, she'd ship you back quick. Uh, yes. Kiki says, ooh, diamonds. <laughs> oh, yeah, <I> need some <laughs> Mama B wants to uh wants us to create a scene in uh OBS called <laughs> Rings and just show it every time someone asks. Yeah, that that well, that'd be like short term. Can you stop talking for a minute? Bite me. I'm having fun. I'm trying to do stuff, and you're just rambling. I have a question for Kiki. You said you've got bubbles in yours. Did you let yours dry, the paint dry, or set for any period of time before you threw it in the oven? Or did you go, like, paint, smush, and in the oven? Because I was thinking of letting them sit until I got the next batch done and then having Art Bitch put them in the oven. But I'd like a... To not get as many bubbles as I got the first time. Linda has to go. Horrible. Linda, no. But okay. Go get some sleep. Oh, God. Malika. Now she wants to see <laughs> the legs, too. The legs are the ring. Well, hopefully she already saw the, the rings. Oh, okay. Jesus. I need a leg scene and a rings scene now. <laughs> Paint smush and then in the oven. Okay. okay. Well, we'll do a little test. We'll see what happens when they sit for however long it took me to do the first one. Okay. I don't know how this is going to work here. <sighs> but just so people um, shut the hell up. God. Why are you people torturing me? <laughs> my uh, My calves are ripped, though. But I don't think I can contort onto her desk so you can see them. I'd appreciate it if you don't. <laughs> Tell her to wear sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's probably why I need glasses. I've looked at his legs for 15 years. Uh, you know. I think one time they got this, a little bit of sun and it wasn't quite as bad. But... It's winter. You know, I don't like to wear shorts in the winter. Says the man wearing shorts right I'm now. indoors! <laughs> I was thinking about that too, Sanjay, but I don't know if that would cause the bubbles too. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know if hitting it with a heat gun for a minute or two would help or hurt. I figure I've got time to kill anyway, so it can they can sit for a little bit while I work on the next one. Oh no! What? People just showed up over at Helen's house, and now she's got to go. Bye, Hells. Smack See them on the back hells. of the head and tell them they need to call next time. <laughs> Come back soon. <laughs> she just had to go, Joyce. Somebody showed up company, or maybe it's somebody about her tree situation. Hopefully. She's been having a hell of a time about yeah. that. Poor Helen. Yeah. In, in case you have a hard time understanding Helen... It's not that she can't type or read or carry on a conversation. Her, in her religion, they don't believe in periods and enters. No, it's just she's on an iPad 
and it's just easier to just type it and go. Don't even worry about looking at what you're typing. Just go. Yeah. Rose wants to know, what's that, Carrie? The paint is... Come on, focus. Roll. It's Lumiere. Lumiere by Jacquard. It's a light body metallic acrylic. Mama B has some of these as well. Um, they're really pretty. Uh, hey, Lynn. I is... haven't really used them that much. How are you, Lynn? Hey, Lynn. Thanks for popping in. All right. And well, that's probably enough for this a little bit. Stop it. Huh. I guess I'm gonna need more than that. Can't even see that. You needed a bigger blot. Yeah, I was trying not to waste, which is funny considering I do acrylic pouring. <laughs> but apparently, I'll do it this way. Yeah, Rose is saying how it gets dark at 5.30 now. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, yes, it does. Night, Malika. Thanks for stopping by. Night, Malika. Kiki uses her uh, Finnabare paints on tiles. Okay. What's Finnabare? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fake it till you make it. I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay. Finnebear. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quite familiar with them. Yeah, that's nowhere near enough paint. Have you contemplated using heavy body or perhaps some of the house paints? Don't act like you know what you're talking about. Well, I mean, if light body is not enough, you know, something that got some stink to itness. No, I didn't put that much on here to begin with dude trying to be frugal hey Kim Marie's in the house tonight we are doing CD mosaics Kim Kim Marie Kim Kim Marie Kim Kim Marie Kim Kim Marie, Kim Kim Marie. <laughs> we have her express written permission to, to, to <laughs> sing that I don't want anything to be said in poor light because Kim Marie is awesome hey Arlena how are you hi Arlena thanks for popping in seeing me get frustrated okay it's by Prima uh, an artist named Finnebear uh, developed a line of art alchemy oh yeah we've heard about art alchemy Finnebear. I didn't know it was Finnebear though uh, we'll see how that does so, I don't like you. Paint. Here's a hint for everyone uh, who comes in late. I usually try to write down in the description of the video what we're doing. So, if you do come in late, uh, just check out the description. And uh, that, that, that'll give you a little bit of background of what we're doing. Because, you know, uh, Lynn thought it was glass we were working on. Oh, no. Because, you know, she has a, a life. And couldn't make it here at 7.30 <laughs> Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I almost didn't make it here at 7.30. That bathroom's calling my name. Yeah. Calling it. And you know, Mama B from 70 Acres Studio, she's always saying New York time. And and just uh, to, to uh, I don't know, be a, a, a little piss pants, I'm going to start calling it Newark, New Jersey time. Newark, New Jersey? Hey, I'm not wrong. Why not say where you are, which is... 
Well, she doesn't even want to be in New York. Crap hole, Maryland. Because that's where you are. You're not in anywhere else. I'm going to try adjusting your video real quick because you're a little fuzzy. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear? Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair! Aww. Poor Fuzzy Wuzzy. Was he fuzzy, Wuzzy? That's what somebody said. Well, isn't that cool? No, it's backwards. No, I was talking about the notification, silly. Mm. I know, Kiki. Everybody th seems to think it does, though. Yeah, see, Kiki, I call it Eastern Time, too. Or Eastern Standard, or Eastern Daylight, or GMT-4 or 5, depending on the time of year. Because, you know, we have this stupid little thing called, oh, Daylight Savings. Everyone knows where New York is. Well, true. <laughs> Lynn has been properly chastised. Mm. Who would chastise Lynn? Wasn't chastising. I was just simply providing, uh, you know, a backup for informational purposes. You were being snarky. I, no, I, I really wasn't trying to. I'm the only one that's allowed to be snarky. Um, isn't that a little bit of the, uh, you know, a, a, a pot calling the kettle black there? No, I said I'm the only one that can be snarky. All right, well, I disagree. I didn't, I didn't say I wasn't snarky. I'm the queen of snark. I agree with that, actually. Queen of snark. See, Rose knows where Jersey is. It's the armpit oh, of the no, East Coast. Oh, no, Andrea, sorry. Oh, Northern Jersey can be considered that, yes. Oh, no. What did you do now? It stuck to my finger and flipped over. Kind of like when you drop a piece of bread that has jelly on it. It always <laughs> ends up... It does. Get off of me. Thank you. Yeah, see, Jada knows what's going on. PG said he was trying to be snarky. It just came out that way. <laughs> Joy says, PJ was being nice. Said Lynn had a life. <laughs> well, Kim Marie, if snarky is hereditary, look at my mama. <laughs> you answer that question. Is it? Is it? I think it's. I don't think it's hereditary. I think it's nurture. That's why I have it from her because I've been around her. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm blaming her for it, <laughs> and I had it well. You hear before. that, Dad? You hear that, Mom? <laughs> no, I can't blame anybody for it. It was. It's been with me my whole life. <laughs> Dad says, stop bad-mouthing New Jersey. It is the Garden State. Garden of what? <laughs> exactly. No, Rose, actually, North Jersey smells exactly like a landfill, because that's kind of what it is. So, no no pain will be coming your way from me on that, anyway. I think I've only been to Jersey twice in my life. That's pretty big, considering we're Azure so Muse. To it. Hey, Azure... Thanks for coming on in. 
I can never remember your name. I am such a turd burglar. A <laughs> turd burglar? Yeah. Yeah, Andrea does have a good point. She says, Lol, Sanjay, you can't pump your own gas there. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes you just don't want to pump your own gas. You know, all the shit you gave me, and then you're doing what I suggested anyway. I'm doing different colors. Shut <laughs> up. You're using a heavier acrylic. <laughs> <sighs> I'm just saying. Next week on the live stream, it'll be PJ trying to figure out what to do by himself. Oh, I'll be pouring if that's the case. No, I know you I won't. can do you that. You better get your own supplies. These are mine. Bite me. Who paid for most of them? Uh both of us, but they're mine. Who primarily paid for both? <laughs> Doesn't matter. They were bought with the intent and purpose of me using them, not you. I told you. You see what I gotta deal with? I'm people. an only child. I do not share. You should know this by now. What are we ever to do with you, Carrie? Uh uh uh. Suck it up and deal with it. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Uh. Am who I am. Which can be most unfortunate. <laughs> Jada says I pump my own gas daily and I don't have a car. <laughs> <laughs> Them there be some pretty colors. See, a lot more people do actually know Jersey. Azure Mouse grew up there, and she lived there. Or, well, I don't know if she grew up there. She lived there for forty-five years. And you still have a sense of smell, Azure. Heh, <laughs> Kiki says she totally gets that whole uh, only child thing. She's married to an only child, and um, her son is an only child. <laughs> she says, God save me. <laughs> yep. We take on the... <clears throat> every characteristic of every child, plus we have our own messed up way of doing things. Being an only child was good in a lot of ways. I enjoyed it. I grew up as an only child. So did my sister. <laughs> True that, story. That doesn't say much about your uh, sperm donor. Nope, nope. But my dad is awesome. Isn't that right, Daddy? We need a brush cleaning mic, because that sound is just awesome. That would make people have to pee. That's the point! Uh, no, the point is you want people watching, not having to go pee. Hey, that's what iPads and phones are for. Uh, Tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. And you're delusional. Uh, that's a given, but it doesn't make me wrong. In this case, it does. <clears throat> All right, we're going to do this one with this. Now, I can't see from that angle. Uh, did you happen to get most or all of the, uh, the foil off of that desk? Nope. Uh oh. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> yes, Jada, I know. You should never take your phone to the bathroom. But how else are you supposed to play, you know, Angry Birds or, or you know, Where's My Water or Solitaire or Pokemon Poop? Pokemon Poop. My kid found a Charizard in the bathroom one time. Mm-hmm. I think does that on a regular. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> yes, Dad. Uh, it, he says, uh, uh, anyone remember Bob Ross br- uh, cleaning brushes? Oh, whack, whack, whack. That would be awesome. Yeah. Speaking of Bob Ross, did anyone see the new uh, uh, the the new um, Deadpool. Deadpool trailer? It's a total mockery of a, uh, a Joy of Painting video. It's hilarious. Are you going to paint some happy little trees today? On these? No, dear. You just need a really small brush. Yeah, so then it can get mushed by putting something else on top of it and smeared. That's the really small brush. Putting something on top of it. It'll make it bigger. It's going to smush it, move it around. Yes. See, Rose doesn't subscribe. She wants my body. For my legs, of course. And she calls me TJ, and she hates Ryan Reynolds. Rose, <laughs> that wrench might be going away. I'm not a huge fan of Ryan Reynolds either, but I like the Deadpool movie. I, I could definitely see somebody else playing Deadpool and being just as happy with the movie. But, um, yeah, I I don't search out Ryan Reynolds movies, that's for sure. See, I like Ryan Reynolds. I always have. That's because you're weird. Well, no shit, Sherlock. You just come up with this deduction? I try to spare your feelings. That's why I don't Like fun you do. Yeah, like fun I do. Ooh, that's a good score, Kiki. Kiki scored uh, eight 1940s Life magazines at the thrift Ooh. store today. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I haven't started trying to collect or hoard, I guess is the proper term for that type of stuff uh, yet. I believe, you, I believe you meant hoarded, not hoard. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. Well, no, it would float my boat even more if you hoard out to me, but mm. that's completely something different, not suitable for this live stream. They knew what I meant. I, I just don't have room for everything that you would need to get into hardcore scrapbooking or even junk journaling watching uh, Mama B last night working on her junk journal and all the different things that she's just it's like yeah (laughs) I might be able to make the actual journal part and do some of the stuff but having all the different magazines and the different I, I don't have any of that I don't have anywhere to put any of that it just seems like a daunting task of trying to get all that type of stuff Andrea wants to know does each tile get two colors um that's just how it's striking me right now but it doesn't have to you can do whatever colors you want you could do it all one color like if you know that you're trying to come up with tiles and you have a certain color scheme because you're trying to do a I don't know, a page in a junk journal, or you're trying to make the tile small and uh, do like a picture, actual mosaic picture on like a card or whatever, and you know the colors that you want and you can kind of cut out everything and place it in order. That way you know how you want your colors to match. You know, then you, then you can sit there and really get in depth with getting the colors right and on the diff- right tiles and but this is just pretty colors and whatever I happen to pick up hey Helen's back Helen hey Brandy what's up Brandy It's not fair, Kiki. You're not allowed to lose weight. <laughs> yeah, I want to lose weight faster. I've lost, gosh, about 
I'm I'm sure I've lost about twenty five pounds in the last couple months, but I want to lose more. Now, see, if your pants were falling down, Carrie, we wouldn't have time for the live stream. Oh, shut up. Bazinga. Nobody wants to hear about that. Holy cow. Kiki's lost 85 pounds. Wow. Congratulations. Man, that's awesome. Yeah, Dad says we have a good crowd today. I'm not letting you know how many people we have watching right now though because well, you don't want to know i don't want to know <laughs> don't want to know it's not the most we've had though don't want to close know. don't want to know <laughs> Well, if anyone wants my weight, you know, you can, you can, I mean, if you, any of y'all are, you know, either hungry or skinny or whatever, you know, you can, you can grab some from mine. Hey, I can't help I cook halfway decent and you like it and you eat a lot of it. Yeah, because it's really good. You think I've she's worked, talented at arting? I have Oof. worked hard to get that belly that way. And you're just wanting to throw it all away. <laughs> I see how it is. That's hard work right there. Hard, hard work. And Helen, uh, in about one kilo is uh, two point two pounds. So that's the 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 rate there, the exchange. <laughs> Jada, I, I was getting ready to say the same thing. I think I found some of Kiki's weight. Yeah. <laughs> and I think I'm sitting on it right now. Well, you know what the saying is. She knows. Know. She knows. <laughs> yeah, Tina says she's too lazy to lose weight. I'm I'm I was right there with you until I hit the 310 mark and I said I got to do something. Two more. Oh, one more. Okay. I don't know how I did that. Must have used it elsewhere. Oh, wow. So Kiki was the same weight, it looks like, as me. Oh. I can't imagine you being 310. That's awesome. I just can't fathom actually being able to lose it. I, I don't know. Brandy, I understand and I respect the whole love and my curves. I mean, I love Carrie's curves. But for me, it was not healthy. I could not walk... Uh, without hurting and that had to do with a back injury from years ago but uh, I can walk for miles now and my back just doesn't hurt uh, and and that's because I started walking every day you know I started off a, a quarter mile at a time um, just like the cast of Fast and Furious hey hey um, but uh, now I started walking and uh, now I can do a mile and a half like it's nothing and I can just keep going Oh, 
you more than I want it. Are you ready for some art bitch assistance? No, not yet. Alright. And with that, the first CD is done being painted. So we'll give it at least a half hour. And then we'll throw them in the oven so we can at least have one set. crispy by the time we get done here. Yay! And yeah, all this cutting and painting, it might be a little boring or slow tonight. Yeah, sorry guys. But uh, at least you've got good commentary from the, the art gallery. <laughs> yeah, I figured Mama B had done a lot of pouring the past few days. You guys might have gotten a little tired of it, so. <clears throat> and just ha didn't feel up to spitting, didn't feel up to getting the scan and cut out, so figured try something haven't tried before, so here we go. I love how uh, Kiki thinks marriage will take off even more weight because Carrie will never cook again. It's not like we are, are new to this whole relationship. Mm -mm. Did you miss the part where I said we've been together 15 years? Like, lived together? My mom actually is listening, Brandy. Uh, she's just driving. Uh, she's almost to the farm. So dad is in the, uh, well, dad just said we are at mile marker 98 and we will lose signal when we get to the interstate mile marker 50. So, uh, yeah, the, the signal kind of cuts out for everyone there. But uh, she is here, kind of. So if you'd like, read off a message and I'll, I'll, and I'll dictate for you. Yeah, the button's not working. Just um, why isn't it working? Because it's not working. <laughs> you better be muted. No. You son of a whore. <laughs> <laughs> you said the button's not working. I My don't know. button. I don't know. Maroon. <laughs> You're the maroon. <sighs> nope. 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 <sighs> In my defense, I'm getting over a stomach virus. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, comedy gold. I hate you right now. You know that, right? <laughs> I don't know what to hit over here. The mute button! <laughs> you know, the one with the speaker icon on it? <laughs> the one you look at to make sure it's muted? <laughs> God! <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Jada says, that was amazing, Carrie. <laughs> Rose says, Blay -ab, blame the virus. <laughs> Come on. I'm taking your computer away. I'm just going to give you a little monitor with the chat room. The rest of it's going to be so I can freaking see it. Hey. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> I think you've got to score it deeper. I did. 
And it's just not coming off. Now you got my nose running. Really? <laughs> From I was crying. Yeah, was I'm sure. Funny. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Helen. <laughs> Carrie asked me to mute out. I tried to mute out on my remote board. It didn't work. So I figured, I assumed that she had clicked the mute button on her computer. <laughs> God. I didn't know you were going to do that. Uh, <laughs> supposedly, Mama B has a question. All I see is uh, Mama B was getting tired of it. Uh, tired of pouring every session, that is. No, oh. I, yeah, we all get tired of pouring. Oh, that was hot. I already read that, Brandy. The stream might be in 1080p HD high definition, but uh, there's no gas mask required, Rose. We don't have smell o vision enabled. It takes too much bandwidth. If I'd known you needed to poo your pants, I would have... You're the one who wanted me to mute out in the first place! Yeah. That doesn't mean I know what your butt wants to do. <laughs> God. Oh. Can't read your. I might be able to read your mind sometimes, but I can't tell what your butt wants to do. Brandy says there's a second question. Are you talking about a question for. Oh, okay. Her question to Mama B. I wish you'd specify, Brandy. Boobs Magoo. Uh, hey, Melissa. Can't wait for Monday. Glad y'all had a safe trip so far. Prepare for cold. There you go. Butt snorts. Really? I didn't say it. I know you didn't say it. <laughs> it was not me, Tina. It was not me. I'm good at covering for her sometimes. Yeah, right. No, the, as bad as... I'm not as far along in recovering from the cooties that he gave me. The butt cooties, yes. So if I were to have done that, I better have a diaper on because I'd have more than butt snorts going on. It would not have been pretty. At all. So it was not me. It was not me. Oh wow, Janelle, your buddy Janelle is watching. She is? Is she in there? Uh, she's on Facebook. Oh. She says, How the hell do I let you know I'm watching? <laughs> hey Joel. <laughs> Joel. <laughs> Dad says message received. Well, I'm glad we were able to uh, make you smile, Mary, uh, especially with your husband not being able to come home tonight. <laughs> if PJ said excuse me every time he did that all he all you'd ever hear him say is excuse me excuse me <laughs> hey you fart in your sleep I'm asleep 
I don't know how the hell you don't fart during the day. Like, I think I've heard you fart once, and that was because you were laughing really hard. <laughs> Just wait till I get to the age where I start peeing a little bit. Yeah. That'll uh, be fun. I've got that to look forward to. <laughs> That'll be fun. Alright. Well, that's horrific. Can you put this with the... I can. Thank you. But will I? Hey, that's up to you. Yeah, see, Brandy, that's just rude. Uh, Noah does it to her on purpose while walking up the stairs behind her. Oh. Uh, that's just rude. I would never do that to Carrie. Well, that's because you'd knock me out and I'd fall back <laughs> down the steps. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Alrighty then. Wow, your mom's a professional to go 21 years without you ever hearing her fart. That is impressive, Jada. <laughs> Is impressive. Andrea wants to know, Carrie, did I miss something? Why did you take the silver coating off? Uh, that is... The silver coating isn't just silver coating. It's also kind of like a paper. A real thin paper on the top. And the underneath is like a foil. So that allows you to... When you, by taking it off, which if this tape or these CDs were more compliant, I'd actually have a more see-through disc than what I have. It's still leaving some of the silver on there. Uh, if I could get it all the way off, it would be totally transparent. And it would allow for the tiles to look a little better. Uh, but hopefully... With some of the silver still being there, it won't affect it too much. Hopefully. Don't put them in there yet. I'm not going to put them in the oven. Okay. I'm just prepping them because I'm a preppy art bitch. Would you like a cookie? No, thank you. Janelle says, hi, kids. Not in the chat room. Oh, she's still not in there. She's not in the app. Oh. She's on her tablet. Gotcha. Joel. Joel. Alright. Where did my pointy, snippy, cutty things go? Make sure that's dry. Can I make a suggestion? 
Well, I don't know. Did you score them deeper this time? Okay. Yeah, that should hopefully. Well, it didn't work, did it? No, it didn't. <sighs> I don't like those CDs. <laughs> Maybe I'll flip and get something from the other side of the stack next time. Yes, Arlena, those are indeed a pair of snips. They were from my tool collection, and I donated them to Epiphany. Craftstudio.com Don says, this is the first time I've seen CD tiles being made. We actually hope to do a fully produced video on this subject once we have a method for getting rid of the foil um, that actually works. Uh, that's, you know, basically foolproof. You know, any CD, make, model, brand, whatever. No, Arlena, I actually went downstairs, found them, and, and handed them over. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, Kim Marie, th those would be a lot easier than the, the penny scissors uh, you use. Yeah, uh, Carrie used a pair of uh, regular scissors earlier, and it worked, but it hurt. Very much so. You know, at one time I had those uh, those uh, those blanks, essentially the spacers that they use for the bottom of the stack of discs when you get a spindle that don't have the foil on them or the label. Mm. But I don't know what I, what I ever did with them. Um. Those would be awesome because those are already pre-prepped. These are actually blank CDs and blank DVDs. So, yeah, th these aren't really the best, I guess. What did she say? Uh, they were saying that music CDs and DVDs are the hardest. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm using is the recordable, so. Exactly, yeah. I think they're just too old. We've had these things for four score and... <laughs> Well, it's been so long since I've even used a CD or DVD. Everything we do is digital or on a USB thumb drive. Good luck, Kiki. She's headed to the basement. Rut row.
can't see my damn line. Brandy said she uh, she saw some movies. Uh, uh, Jigsaw was good, and so was Flatliners. Now, Flatliners isn't that the re the remake of the old? T I think is a TV show. I think Kevin Bacon or someone was in that. I don't know. Don't know. Uh, last movie we saw sucked. Sucked. The, Care to share? The Adam Sandler. Yeah, movie, the, the Meyer. Uh, I don't know. It's a Netflix movie with a bunch of people, a bunch of good actors. Yeah, it's too bad the script sucked. Yeah, that no, movie it was it, horrible. It, it, I got it. It was just neurotic Jewish documentary style. And like, but it it the storyline wasn't good. Anything that was supposed to be funny was weak. It was just. Well, it I wasn't actually had to meant pay, to be funny. If I had to pay extra to watch that movie, I would have been mad. <laughs> I would have felt gypped. I would have wanted my money back. I'm not a real fan of uh, of remake and reboots and stuff. I mean, there are the few extreme uh, contrary examples. Like, for example, I love the Lethal Weapon show. Uh, they basically re-envisioned the movies. Uh, it's not a bite. It's not a remake. It's awesome. Okay, yeah, Brandy says uh, the original was a movie with Kiefer Sutherland, Kevin Bacon, Julie Roberts, made in the early 90s. Yeah, I, I, I loved the movie. Um, I just, I didn't understand why they were making a, TV, uh, a, a, a remake of it. Like the new Point Blank? The Point one without break. Swayze? Point Break, yeah. The one without Swayze in it? I won't watch it. Because, No. The new Ghostbusters with all chicks. Like, I'm all for female equality. I mean, I, I love females. They're awesome. I just don't screw up a, an 80s classic just by putting three actresses that in 20, 30 years will be much more irrelevant than the original actors are now. No, yeah, you can't make re Roadhouse. Well, they're re remaking Jumanji, like and The Rock. I love Dwayne Johnson. The Rock is in it, and there's a trailer out. I haven't watched the trailer yet, um, but man, I, I gotta say, I, I'm I'm not too enthused about them doing a remake of Jumanji. Jumanji is not an old movie. It does not need to be remade. It's not like The Italian Job, which well, is. I'm sorry, you can't remake it. Robin's not around anymore. Yeah. It would be like if they tried to remake Aladdin and recast the genie as somebody else. Well, I think they're doing a live action uh, Aladdin in the future. But that's live action. It's still never going to be the same, and I'll never fully appreciate it like I loved and adored I mean, it would Aladdin. be like them redoing um, Mork and Mindy and having somebody else play Mork. Yeah. I'm sorry. You know, Robin Robin was awesome. Yeah. Especially when he was on Coke. I think he was funnier then. He was a I think he was a funnier comedian then, yes. But he was definitely a better actor as he got older and cleaner and stuff. Well hello art inspector. Hello. How are you? You good? Rose isn't a fan of man. Rose, you know, he's not. She's not a fan of Dwayne Johnson. What you don't want to smell what the rocks got cooking, Rose? Come on, he's a good-looking guy. 
He does the eyebrow thing, which I can do. <laughs> <laughs> PJ can't. Come on now. Um, Just like my flatulence, no one needs to know what I can't do. <laughs> no, they all know you can do that. Now, thanks to you. <laughs> it wasn't intentional. Did you start the oven? Well, no. Speaking of what The Rock is cooking, should we start cooking? Yes, yeah, start preheat. All right. Preheat. And what temperature setting are we using? Broil. All right. You will broil. Hopefully not flambe. Just broil. Jason Momoa. Um, decent body, but... Uh, the face, I could, you know, I guess in the dark it wouldn't matter, but. You know, he still knows his Dothraki. Does he? He does, yeah. Years later, Stop he still knows it. Cookies. I'm not. Well, there you Hello, Poot. Hello, Art Inspector. What colors? Do you... I know, pink. You like pink. Okay, we'll do some pink. There's only been like one movie. That I really didn't care for with Dwayne Johnson in it. And that was the one where he played a dumb bodybuilding uh, criminal. And I can't remember the name of the movie. But that movie, just in general, I, I didn't like it. But when I heard he was coming on board to the uh, Fast and Furious franchise, I squeed a little in my pants. <laughs> Hey, Kiki, she's back alive. Got one paintbrush. I don't know what I did with the other one. Something's lurking in your basement. Might be. Might be. Yes, Andrea has a very good point. Uh, the tiles, you can do it a couple of different ways. You can put foil directly on your... Uh, oven rack do the shiny side down um, and then kind of sit it on the rack but when you're putting the tiles directly on the rack do not and here we go with the the oven rack has bars helps if I'm in the screen has the bars you're gonna want to put the tiles so that they fall in between unless you want your tiles to be curved and all wonky shaped. Um, we are using a cookie sheet with foil shiny side down uh, just so don't have to deal with the oven rack. And they'll go in uh, and broil on broil and it depends on the size kind of of the tile and just how broily your oven is. Uh, it can take as little as five minutes. It can take ten minutes. You just kind of have to keep an eye on them. You definitely don't want to just walk away. Uh, you can tell when they're fit. You can pull them out, let them cool, look at them. If the sides of the tile look like they're still two separate pieces of tile, they haven't actually melted helps again if I'm on the screen. If they haven't actually melted to where it looks like one continuous piece of plastic, then you're going to want to put them back in. Uh, again, they can be totally cool. If you're not happy with them, just throw them back in. And, you know, it doesn't take that long for them to cool. So. Two things for you. Uh -huh. A. Jada says, having The Rock and Vin Diesel in the same room, uh, same movie, gold. Exactly. I completely agree, Jada. Also, hey, Dana's in the house. Hey, Dana. Not sure when she got here, but what's up? Hey, there's Joel. Hey, Janelle, what's up? <laughs> uh, I think you'd be all right. I think you could uh, melt plastic, j -Bell. I think you could melt plastic. I think you should get Janelle over here one night for an art <laughs> session. I think there should be lots of tequila. And I think we should film all of it in like five different camera angles. Oh, Lord. I really don't want to get hurt while I'm crafting. 
She wouldn't smack you. No, if using sharp objects. Well, yeah, I I could be the designated snipper, cutty, tin, shiny thingy, <laughs> cutter. See, Janelle is an anomaly. She's actually our buddy in real life, IRL, for all you millennials out there. Uh, we've known Janelle for quite a few years. How have you been? Yeah, Helen's oogling over that paint that you've got. Well, that's good because you got a jar coming to you. <laughs> I'm hooking you up, girly. At least on that color. <laughs> oh, we've got some other stuff coming your way, too. Arlena wants to know if it will work in a toaster oven. It most certainly will at high heat. Yeah. That but- being said, keep things away from the exterior of the toaster oven and make sure you've just got a lot of clearance because you don't want to catch anything else on fire. Sanjay in the chat room, that's Dadams for me and Carrie. Uh, love you all. We are going to lose the internet in a few. Bye. Have a safe trip, guys. We love you. Bye, Dadams. Bye, Mama B. <laughs> Brandy said, did you really just call me a millennial? And she raised eyebrow. <laughs> like the rock yes we called you a millennial brandy if the shoe fits and if it doesn't whine about it because you're a millennial <laughs> i'm just said we love you candle or heat gun Ugh, i don't i don't know that a candle will a candle will char it it'll yeah. leave carbon deposits all over and it'll be blackened and heat gun a heat gun probably would work for small pieces at a time yeah. especially if you had uh, uh m- m- mama b's heat gun at 70 acres yeah i, I don't have we don't have 80 bucks to well, even burn. if i did that's that thing's just so big <laughs> yeah that i mean the one we've got is badass and it was like what 30 it works for what i need it for yeah let's get a good warranty home depot for the win works for me (laughs) brandy says look here white legs look here boobs magoo boobs magoo those boobs mcgee i don't know Oh, Muwen is in the house. I, I read her question, but we didn't say hi. Hello. Hola. I have to ask, where'd you uh where'd you come up with your screen name, Muwenna? Uh or is that your first name or or I just I don't know. I've never heard uh a name Mu Muwenna. That's interesting. <laughs> Dana now. Well I must say you have quite a radio voice. Mm. I am a podcaster, so uh, that might have something to do with it. See, I I balance it out with my screechy Fran Drescher voice, so it it all balances out. (laughs) Janelle sounds like she might be interested. Oh, really? Uh, She says, since I am a newbie to this, how long are these things and how much booze would I need? (laughs) More booze, the better. Uh, We would actually provide the booze if you drove up here. Um, I'm sure of it. Stop it. You are not. Just let me know what you like and I'll pick it up. But no, we typically stream for about an hour, hour and a half. Last time we actually streamed for about two and a half hours. Depends on what I'm doing. But, uh, you know, if you'd be more comfortable with it, we could actually just turn the cameras on and not go live. And then we could put it out as a as a funny behind the scenes video. Okay, Jada says it's Booby Magoo. Booby Magoo. Me and Booby Magoo. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Okay, Muena says it's the it's a mix of uh, first name and nickname. Nice. So it's kind of like me and Care Bear. I Care Bear, guess. yeah. I'm getting paint on my thing. 
Tomato will be on the road tomorrow. Oh, you got a new car called Tomato? Tomato. Tomato potato, whatever. Well, maybe this weekend. Who knows? Hit us up on the Book of Faces. The Bookie of Faces. That's right. No tweeter. <laughs> well, actually, we do have the tweets, the tweetsers. Uh, speaking of, if you'd like to subscribe to Carrie's antics, you can do so at <laughs> Facebook.com and Twitter.com slash Epiphany Crafter. Is the oven preheated? Uh, the oven should be preheated, yes. Have you put them in? It's set too hot. I, I well, You know I haven't put them in. I'm sitting here. Well, you're slacking. If it's preheated, put them in. God! First with the muting, <laughs> now with this. Uh, don't make me do it again. The oven light is still on, so I'm going to wait. All right. The light went off. Huh? The light went off. Uh, we'll say yes. <sighs> he had one job. He had one job. How long did you set it for? Five minutes. Okay. The light just went off. Heard it click. <laughs> sure, Rose, blame it on Nightbot. I just don't think you love what the Carrie is painting. No, she's blaming Nightbot. Don, the oven is set to broil. In other words, dang, that's hot! Exactly. <laughs> sure, Rose thinks the voice is getting creepy. I just think she's jealous. No, you're doing your obnoxious <laughs> want to be a radio. I'm just voice. playing. <laughs> Brandy says, "Oh, Carrie, the things you have to put up with." <laughs> yep. Oh, they're getting off the interstate. You guys have a safe trip, Daddy. I don't know why I call him Daddy on chat because we never call him Daddy. Never once. Dad. It's a Dadums. Or furry guy. Dadums. I say furry guy because he's Indian. Love that sound. Mm. It's reminiscent of my water bong days. Really? Get off of me. Brandy says, uh, PJ, you should do creepy pastas on the side. You'll you do well. Now, do tell. What the hell is a creepy pasta? I just don't get that.
Hey, if you guys haven't already subscribed, you know, like Rose, go ahead and click on that subscribe <laughs> button. If you uh, want to get notifications, uh, go ahead and click on that bell. Go ahead. Yeah, that's right. Ring Carrie's bell. Leave Rose alone. She starts smacking you. I'm just gonna look the other way. Because you will deserve it. So what kind of consistency or texture should we look for to know when uh, the, the, the mosaics are GBD, a.k.a. golden brown and delicious? When it looks like all one piece of plastic, you shouldn't see two distinct edges it okay should, it should be look like one piece of plastic all right Ooh, she's rub janelle's rubbed it in she has vodka not fair lucky well you know you can get vodka if you want not with the way my stomach's been thank you no no not really oh muena subscribed earlier yes we saw that thank you Oh, okay. It's scary stories, and they're all over YouTube. People read them, and it's pretty neat. Um, okay. Well. And do you have cranberry juice with that vodka, Miss J Bell? And a pinch of lime juice. Yeah, a little bit of lime in there too. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, just because I'm a tech guy doesn't mean I know what's on Pinterest. I am a straight male, you know. That and I don't have time to watch those types of uh, programs on, on the television. Because I'm old, I guess. I did, Janelle. Uh, did you recall seeing uh, her dirty martini margarita glass thingy? Mm -mm. See, I love dirty martinis. I love them. Tito's vodka. Woohoo! Did they turn out? Sweet. I don't think they're ready, but they're close to being ready. Uh, give them another minute and then check them again. You think a minute or two minutes? You're the one looking at them. I'm going to do two minutes. <laughs> uh -huh. You have a bipolar cat, Mary? Aren't all cats bipolar? <laughs> Hell, they're tripolar at some points. Tripolar. Uh, and this is coming from a man who, I don't like dogs. I only want cats. That was like a lifetime ago. Yeah, I had to straighten you out of that too. <laughs> that was when I had a relationship with my father, my biological father. You know how long ago that was? A while. Uh, Helen wants to know what a dirty margar or what what is a dirty margarita? Uh, it's actually a dirty martini. Dirty means it's got olive juice in it, Ugh. which is the best part of a martini. Yeah. Uh, and it was just served in a margarita glass because that's how Janelle rolls. No, the and best part about a martini is the vodka. Well, that's the money shot of a martini, yeah. Because I can do without the vermouth and the olives. Just give me the vodka. I do not like martinis. Do not. They're gross. So gross. <laughs> Jada's dogs need riddling. <laughs> Better share the wealth. <laughs> Back uh, to the oven for yeah, me. Thank you. All right. 
one more. And let's see. Do Do you have a spatula? What do you need a spatula for? To get them off before they harden. Let them cool before you monkey with them. All right. The oven is still on, though. Is that... Should I, like, lower the temperature? Um, yeah, because they these need to sit, so... <laughs> uh, you're a vodka girl, too, huh, Andrea? <laughs> I didn't say a word. Original margaritas with olives in them. I huh? think, think I'd have to pass Dana. Uh, uh, margaritas? That's what she said. Uh, with <laughs> olives? I love olives and I love margaritas. But not together. I um, could not do that. I don't like olives enough. The only thing I really like anything to do with olives is pizza. Yeah. I don't. I, well, don't, I can. I can pop them raw, but. Oh, I can't. I I don't like them in a salad. I don't like them. On a bus, I don't like them with a fox. <laughs> I don't like them with green eggs and ham. They, oh, See, I would eat them in or off of everything you just mentioned. <laughs> I can't stand them. Unless the fox had rabies. Can't stand them. <laughs> Rose likes the olives, but not the alcohol. Well, that sounds like a good relationship for us, Rose. You can have the olives. I'll take the alcohol. And we both come out winners. Um, I like extra olives. Thank you very much. <laughs> Rose can stay right there. Yeah, but you also like alcohol. See, this way, she can have all the olives. I can have all the alcohol. Win-win. <sighs> See, with you, I have to share the alcohol. <laughs> In college, Joyce drank gin just to be cool. Ugh. I don't mind a gin martini. I don't mind gin and juice. Uh -huh. Representing Snoop Dogg. Oh. I'm sorry, is that Snoop D-O-W-G? No, what is it? Snoop, Snoop D-O-double-G. Yeah, there you go. I thought he was a lion. Yeah, I don't know. There. I think he's going back to Snoop Dogg now. I have no idea. All I know is he's hanging out with Martha Stewart. I, I was just about to say him and his homegirl Martha Stewart. They, you know, they they could answer that. Has he ever been in jail? Do they have that in common? Uh, you know, don't know. Or he's been she, selling pot since he was in high school. Or is she the only one with a record? She has more street cred than he does. <laughs> She's ghetto. <laughs> J-Bell, we're going to have to discuss your olive issue. Olives go great on pizza. Nothing else. Ooh. Absolutely nothing else. Green olives with eggs and feta with hot sauce? See, I could eat See, the eggs, I'm, no uh, olives, no feta, and no hot that's, sauce. That's my, like, how about this? She can come over <laughs> on a Saturday morning. We can make what she just said. No. And I'll make the no feta, no <laughs> olives equivalent with no hot sauce, of course, <laughs> and, and serve it to you. And, uh, and then we can get arting and drinking. Yeah, I want to start drinking in the morning. Yeah, like 10, 11 o'clock in yeah, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, if McDonald's is serving lunch, <laughs> it's okay to drink. That's how I live. So A vodka hot chocolate? Yeah, those, those are some good 
Good drinks right there. May I kick a little flow of something? No, I, I don't know. What, what. Don't look at me. I, I Dude, used to know. Are the, they cooled off? I, I used to know the words to gin and juice. Art, bitch. Give me a spatula. They look. Do I have to go out there and do it? Just give me a spatula. I don't. You're not using any of God damn it. these. Stop cussing at me. I will get soap. If anybody wants an art bitch cheap, just let me know. <laughs> Rose wants me to hit you. Uh, how about no? I do have, I do have the spoon over here. But it's not decorated. I know it's not decorated. I'll work on it sometime soon. This is the spoon of dread. It's still just a plain spoon. It hasn't been all gussied up yet, but it will. It will be gussied and it will be used. Um. <laughs> Don't. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No, go on. Ooh, purdies. Oh, this silver stole them. Well, I told you it was going to do that. And this one's... Man. Art fail. That one's not too bad. That one's not too bad. I agree, Kiki. She says Rose has a violent bug in her soul. <laughs> That one looks wet. Alright. So. This one is a fail. Because <laughs> the silver is still on both sides. So you cannot see any of the purdy in the middle. Well, whose fault is that? I am showing people. This one actually turned out halfway decent. I think if that's the one I'm thinking, that's uh, my favorite one. Um, this one is weird. The in the middle of it looks wet, and it's kind of indented. Makes me think this is the part that was on the foil. Was it? Do you know? Do you uh, remember? Let me see. Yes, that was on the foil. Weird. Okay, so it seems like the foil bakes the foil off. Interesting. This one also has the wet kind of center. It's weird. And then this one is kind of trippy looking. Also has the shiny center. It's hard to see the paint, but it's there. Um, and you have this one, which is even harder to see. Okay, yeah. Uh, from what I'm reading, because I'm doing research on the uh, on the internets, uh -huh. uh, really strong duct tape will work. That's a lie. No, really strong duct tape, and you need, like, three layers of it. Three layers? Yeah, to go over the entire disc. Uh, you stretch them across the CD horizontally, make sure the duct tape is completely flat, no bubbles or bunches, then use your finger to smooth the duct tape over the label side of the CD, then test the side of the CD to see which will give easiest, then pull. It should come off in one big piece. Huh. In short, it's like waxing hair. Waxing hair. Kelly Clarkson! Yeah! <laughs> And then this one. So, 
we had one out of the bunch that was a total dud. The other ones are passable if you don't turn them over necessarily. So learning curve, definitely. Wouldn't think it would be considering all you're doing is cutting up a CD and putting paint on it. But that is art apparently. So I guess this isn't strong enough duct tape. Is that what you're saying? Well, that and it's not enough. You don't think it's enough on here to no. do one? Oh, we can try it. I mean, if, if you, ha yeah, let's try it. Uh, what I was recommending before was use the packing tape to get off the, uh, the label and then use duct tape to get the, la uh, the uh, aluminum off. Aluminium. Aluminium. You know, for all of you, uh, uh, everyone else in the world except for, uh, you know, us. Aluminium. Aluminium. That was one word I could not say when I was a child. Alumnum num. Couldn't. Just couldn't do it. And could you I, drill a hole in them? Well, they kind of have a hole already in the middle. No, she's talking about the <laughs> individual pieces. I'm sure you could with like a Dremel and then make pendants or... Well, something out of it we do have a dremel not tonight we don't and can you add the two together yeah you'd have to remelt them i guess but sure All right. hey patricia stubbs hello patricia all right so are did the interwebs that you were reading did they say to score it yes. first see but that makes a scratch in it i don't like yeah that. but you won't See the scratch once it melts. I saw it in them. Did you? Yeah. Thought I did. Or maybe I'm... I don't know. Don't listen to me. Do not listen to the woman behind the curtain. Now, take a look. There's... With the uh, aluminium still on. Mm -hmm. And you can see scratches. Mm. And there's where the aluminium is uh, been taken off. And they still got bubbles in it. Yeah, well, yeah. Bad tiles. Bad tiles. I think we need to try the uh, the cookie rack or the uh, the the oven, the oven rack. rack. Yes, that thing. <laughs> so yeah, use the packing tape to get rid of the label. Packing tape to get rid you of the label. You do the three layer thing. Let me just cut a piece of this first. And then you can use the scissors. Donka? Uh-huh. Stupid tape. I hate tape. I hate wires. But they are an evil necessity. <sighs> Kim Marie says you don't have to score them really deep. So just four score should do it. I think it's all in the disc. Well, the disc just cracked, so... Yeah. No, it didn't. Look at the back. No, that's where I scored it. Oh, okay. Yo. Yeah, it's all in the disc. Look, this Ooh. one... This one... Apparently, Memorex is the better brand for this. For this, anyway, yes. Is it foil, or is it Memorex? <laughs> See, should have rooted it to the bottom of the pile to begin with. Live, you learn. Alright, let's sit there. So you may not need to do that now. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll do it for another disc. I've already got it. Okay. We'll put a pattern on it. What the heck? I can give you these. That's right. 
Wow, these things do not look cheap. Do not look it. Hey, Emily. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, Emily. Hello. I didn't see you there. I was too busy taping. Got the tape ready for you. Oh, mm. Janelle's going to be uh, going to sign off. All right. Be that way, Joel. I'll hit you up tomorrow or Saturday, see if we can uh, make something happen. Talk to you soon, girly girl. Peace out. Woo, my tape ripped. Eh? <laughs> that is cool. Oh, you've got to save that. <laughs> I don't know how, but. I'll set it over in the pile. Oh no, Emily, what's going wrong? She probably cut your stomach, bud. Well, I could only imagine how, I mean... Uh, I'm sure you aren't patient zero, except in this house. <laughs> I definitely got it worse than any of you guys. I had it worse than Jamie and you combined. Hey. Jamie only hurled once and then had some stomach distress. You've only had stomach distress and I headaches. I will not throw up if I don't have to. I, I had refuse. that shit coming out my nose. I refuse. I refuse. Ask me how much of a, a morning sickness, sickness I had when I was pregnant. Nada. There you go. I fought it <laughs> and I won. <laughs> So can I put the others in the oven? No. But what if I wanna? Then they're gonna be bubbly. That and I thought you said you were gonna put foil on the rack. Yeah, it's too hot though. There you go. There you go. And the old trusty ruler. Ah, uh, yes. Emily says, girl stuff. Aunt Flo is a bitch. Uh, I hate that. Yeah, I can't wait until I hit menopause. I really can't. I'm not going to be happy with those, uh, with, with those temperature changes, though. It's hot. It's cold. It's mm -hmm. hot. It's cold. I mean, come on. Mama B needs a freaking air conditioner in the middle of the winter. I don't know. I don't think I'll be that bad. I do feel your pain, though. Uh, figuratively, of course. Mm -hmm. Jealous of Mary. She is... She is, uh, hit the pause button. Uh. Mm -mm. And Kim Maria. Wow. I mean, I don't necessarily like the idea of, uh, like, the whole loss of the hormones and stuff, because that can cause issues in and of itself. But it would be so nice to not have to worry about having supplies with you and... It's like every time we go to a concert. <laughs> Here, honey, put these in your pocket. <laughs> Why not wear a pair of jeans with pockets? Because they make women's clothes to be cute, not functional. And well, thank you for that, actually. Punk, punk, pockets on women's jeans are more decorative than anything. I mean, half the time, you know, you get a pair of dress pants or something, they'll have the slit to make it look like a pocket, but it's actually sewn shut. But yet men's pants will have pockets in them. 
you know, women's jeans will have pockets, but they're not even big enough to hold change, much less something you don't want falling out in the middle of the floor somewhere so everybody can see what you had in your pocket. And I'm not the girly girl. I do not like carrying a purse with me. I hate it. Oh, she refuses to. She, she'll she carry her license it. and a credit card or two. But in my pocket. Just like throwing it in her pocket. I hate a purse. hate it. I've had to go back and find her driver's <laughs> license more than once. Thank you for that, honey. You're welcome. Snippies. Oh, Helen. Hot flashes. Mm. Oh. See me, I typically run cold all the time. All the time. It's here lately, like at night, it'll be cool, but yet I'll wake up like drenched, so I'm hoping <laughs> that that's the beginning signs of. Well, you did just go like three months without a period. Yeah, that was nice, except for a little scary. Well, it wasn't scary in that I could get knocked up. That ain't happening. But it was aggravating because it's like, okay, is it going to start today? Is it going to start today? Do I need to have stuff with me? Is it going to start today? And hey, Emily, we are working on CD mosaics uh, in the future. If you want to check out the description for the video, I'm just being informational. I'm not trying to be snarky. I'm just trying to remind people that I do my best to keep things detailed. That's all. We're in the description. But anyway, yeah, we're taking compact discs, CDs, uh, and we are turning them into mosaics by... Um, Putting them in the oven after we paint them together. Yeah, this CD worked so much better. Well, you want me to sort out all the Memorex and we'll use them next time? Well, they're in there. Okay. Then we gotta try the other technique for getting the foil stuff off. Yes, because I do have that big uh, pad of uh, duct tape. The wad. You got the wad. I don't have the wad. I almost put somebody's eyeball out. Good thing I have a lot of junk on my desk. <sighs> and in the trunk. <sighs> Must be a thing with crafters just having so much stuff all over the place. Oh well, gosh, you I think yours is bad? I, ooh, I try to keep stuff somewhat straight but then I'll start working on something and then I'll put that to the side start working on something else so then I have little bits of everything I'm working on and it's just I don't know I, I don't know that I'm OC well a little OCD I guess it gets on my nerves alright Rose you have a good night have a good night Rose even though you hate everything that I like <laughs> Except Carrie. No, Even likes, though you don't subscribe to her. She likes Avenger stuff. You like <laughs> Avenger stuff. Hey Tina, you have a good night and uh and, and have make something for me too, because I'm hungry. Just crank the oven back up so we can get that lot in there, even though they're gonna look like poo. Oh, that one broke. That one broke. 
awesome. Moena is uh, realizing that she's the youngest here again. <laughs> I don't know. Um, uh, Brandy's kind of young. Yeah, Brandy's probably one of the younger ones in here. Ooh, Jada had rotisserie chicken and fries for dinner. Sounds good, but my stomach, I think, would not be happy. Night, Kim Marie. You have a great one. This is all I could do to tolerate soup. Emily had sloppy joes and mashed taters. Mm. I can't wait to eat real food again. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice. Because you can only go so far on saltines and soup. I show I show twenty four thumbs ups, Kiki. So uh, yeah, awesome. I'm gonna try refreshing, and now I see fourteen thumbs downs. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, awesome. Shouldn't have refreshed. <laughs> that's awesome. Only fourteen. No, oh, Emily's, uh, she's young. She's 35. Oh, Muena is, uh, 20. Okay. Okay. That, that's, uh, that's our son's age. <laughs> we could be your art parents. There you go. Just don't expect me to talk about the birds and the bees. Unless we're, like, you put painting them on painty papers or whatever. I think I'm starting to get a little cocky with these snips. Probably gonna end up cutting myself. Again. I haven't cut myself with them yet. <laughs> Give me a minute. Uh, 2.48 in the morning. Mm. Yeah, it's 9.48 now. We've been going almost two and a half hours again. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you say I'm sorry, but... Everyone else, I mean, we've we've had a, a decent stream of, uh, you know, of people. of people, yeah. How the hell do you have six thumbs, Helen? I've only got two. <laughs> yeah, the iPad uh, YouTube YouTube app doesn't um, doesn't update that kind of stuff. Not very well. See, iPads suck. <laughs> I just love messing with Carrie. I like my iPad. Okay, how about giving you an iPhone? I said iPad. See? I didn't say anything about an iPhone. Although I would like one of the new ones just so I could have the talking emoji things. That is the coolest thing ever. I will give it to them, yeah. Those the are, animojis. They are so freaking cute. That's the only way I would send text messages anymore, is to use the animal things. <laughs> yeah, but you don't like the sound of your own voice. I, I don't have to hear it. It'll be sent to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn just says, we are still here, Carrie. Do not be sorry. Uh, 
trying to get this evened out. It's not working. I'm going to be finding CD bits for days. Yeah, Stuff. I see a couple of bits behind the monitor. Stuff just goes flying. Oven's preheated. Yes, it is. Well, I'll be back, people. Sounded like a goat. Yeah. I really want a baby goat. A little baby goat in pajamas. Oh, I forgot one from before. Oh, did you? Yeah, look at that. Huh. They are a bacon. Well, technically, they're broiling. Yeah, well. Mama B and Dadums just crossed into North Carolina. Cool. North Carolina. Oh. Yeah, Emily, my hand's a little tired. The snips help a little bit. I did, like, one before I even started streaming using regular scissors. You can do it, but ow. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Because... I think it would hurt anyway, but I had this tendon in my thumb severed uh, about 15, no, Jamie was too, I guess it was about 18 years ago. Had a mirror, I was holding a mirror, no gloves, <laughs> and uh, was moving it and it cracked like right above where I was holding it. And I couldn't let go of the mirror because my son, who was like two at the time, was attached to me at the hip as usual and was standing directly below me. And if I would have let go of it, it would have crashed down on top of his head. So I had to take one for the team. And the top of the mirror came down and just guillotined. Did I say it right that guillotined, time? Guillotined, yeah. Yay. Said it perfectly. Woo! Said it right that time. And, and tendon severed and went back to about here so and my ex-husband which I can legally say now how awesome is that by the way uh, he was like oh you just need stitches I cut my thumb like that and uh, it's fine you know I I could move my thumb up but I couldn't move it down and you know didn't really even bleed a lot, which was surprising until we got to patient first and they were sitting there digging at it and then shot it full of, uh, I don't, it's not Novocaine, but it's similar. Lidocaine. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And they're sitting there rooting around in it and they were like, no, you need to go to, uh, forget the name of the hospital, but they have a surgical unit 
especially for hand. So we ended up going down there and they were like, yeah, if you would have just had stitches in it, you wouldn't have any use of your thumb. So they had to go in and while I was awake, granted they numbed this area, but that's it. And the doctor literally had to reach back here, get the tendon, pull it all the way back up here and suture it and the entire time he's doing that trying to sit still when it feels like somebody's beating you in the elbow it wasn't mm, not something I would want to do again but there was no way I was going to let that mirror come down on my kid's head so you know Emily says poor wolf boy a little bit Emily says <laughs> pour boiling water over the CD and let it sit a few minutes It'll be soft, and then it'll be easier to cut. It might actually even uh, loosen up that but foil. But would it warp? No. I, I wouldn't think so, no. Try it. She learned that on YouTube. The YouTubers. I love YouTube. I learned how to take the exhaust system out of a Toyota Sienna on YouTube. All I needed to do was watch it once, and I was like, okay, now I know how to do it. <laughs> But yeah, I wouldn't. I used to be able to draw very well. Uh, I not to toot my own horn, but I was pretty good. Leave that to me. And uh, but ever since that, even holding a pencil to write or a pen to write with, after even a minute or two, my hand cr it cramps up so bad. I can't. I can't do anything like I used to be able to, and that's one of the main reasons I stopped doing anything arty or crafty or anything because that was just so depressing so but mama b started doing videos and started doing acrylic pouring and i thought you know i don't need to have a 100 percent operational thumb to do that and i like paint and making a mess and now here i am cutting stuff <laughs> and making smelly little tiles which hopefully will work better with this batch. Alright, let's see. Let's get some colors. Some colors. Are we going to be using the oven anymore tonight? Um, we're going to let them dry. Oh, uh, we're going to let them dry dry? Um, probably. Okay, I'll let it sit on the Yeah, Helen, I, there was no way, even if it would have meant losing my th whole thumb, my hand, that I was going to let that come down on my, on my kid's head. There was just no way. Absolutely no way. Um, now, his father, my ex, probably would have because you know he couldn't think beyond himself much less worry about his own child standing there under him because he even yet said why didn't you let go of it i was like uh your kid standing right here what do you think so one of the bazillion reasons <laughs> joyce wants to know are the edges sharp on the tiles um they're, on those, they can be. Yeah, on here, it's it's not like sharp glass or anything. I definitely wouldn't want to step on one in bare feet. But once they go through the baking process, uh, these aren't a great example, but they do round over and they're not sharp anymore where this is really pointy, this is more rounded, so the baking process does take some of that out of it. And some of the other videos I'd, I've seen, um, they take and actually cut sh shapes out of these things. I don't know, I don't know that I would have the patience to try and do that. I had thought about it, doing like um, leaves or feathers and you know, having a mirror image, and but I don't know that I have enough oomph in my hand to try and do anything that 
intricate these squares are hard enough so but maybe when I'm not boring people with me trying to cut out an intricate design I'll try one <laughs> see how it goes just remember if you trace it I will cut it uh, that's true I do have an art bitch don't I? duh and I'm stealing your spatula ha <laughs> ha don't. That's for my scan and cut. Put it down. Son of a bitch. You take away all my toys. That's my toy. It's for my scan and cut. It even says scan and cut on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Or brother. One of the two. But it says something. Don't make me write carry on it. Gosh. I always wanted to take my stuff. Boys. Boys and their cooties. Uh, the Lynn, I don't think that they will. I don't know if the art bitch is leaving them in the oven too long. Or if it's because it had the foil still on it. That's maybe what was giving it some of the miscoloration. But the ones that I've seen completed that don't have all that foil on it. I haven't seen where they've been brown. Now the one thing, if you're worried about the, like your Sharpie lines still showing, I'm not too worried about it because these are just beginning tiles. I, I will probably make hundreds of these, so I'll hopefully keep getting better at it. Uh, if I was worried about the Sharpie line showing, I would have already hit it with a little alcohol to try and get that off of there but I'm not worried about it at this point with these and I don't know maybe that has something to do with it too did they turn out any better yeah uh, some of them actually yeah huh that one's got a hole in it <laughs> yeah uh, alright here's I hate cameras don't look at the light. Look at the camera. Uh, shut up. <laughs> There's this one, which it's kind of hard to see. It is... I don't even know what color that was. I know part of it was green. I wonder if it's the one that had the... Probably had the glitter um, paint in it. And I guess they were right. Don't use glitter in here. The plastic glitters because they melt. And then you have even more bare spots. So, and then this also got holes in it, which kind of looked like an eye, an eye here, and a little mouth going, oh! So, <laughs> <sighs> this one's actually really cool. I don't think the camera's going to pick it up, though. But this one isn't really coming into focus but the bubbles that are trapped in here most likely because it didn't have enough time to dry uh, it looks actually pretty cool um, that and I think our oven sucks well I know our yeah, oven sucks no it does uh, let's see this one's a dud we had tie, uh, foil left on both that one's a dud our oven isn't even a GE knockoff, you know, hot this, point. Are you sure you left them in there long enough? Because, like, this still has gappage. I kind of had to take them out because they were burning holes through them. <laughs> I definitely think we need to concentrate next time on getting all of the foil off. Prior well, they to, are on, that on one. the new one, yeah. But, oops, this one. Colors kind of changed. Again, I don't know if it's because we're not letting the paint have time to totally dry before we're throwing them in there. Um, whenever go through and do these to do a fully production video on doing these and what you can do with them once I even figure that out. Um, hopefully they'll look better and I'll have a set recipe on how to make them. So, and then this one really isn't 
coming into focus. But it's got the bubbles in there too. It, it kind of adds some character to it. Um, but it still has foil. Which I think once these get done and go through and it doesn't have foil on both sides, it'll it'll make these pop a little bit better. But yeah. We'll have to uh, post some pictures on the Facebook page. Uh, it's facebook.com slash epiphanycrafter and uh, let you guys know um, how they turned out. Yeah, these clear ones. Because you might as well kill the oven. Well, uh, we're not going to do it now? No, I'm going to give them time to actually dry dry. Okay. So we can see if that makes a difference. Inquiring minds want to know. Thanks, Joyce. I wish... I, I guess I'm kind of glad the camera's blurry because in real life they're... Some of them are pretty cool. Some of them are like, mm. <laughs> That's a fail. But, hey, first time doing it. I'm not going to complain too much, I guess. I just saw the video last night before going to bed after Mama B's um, live stream. And I was like, because I couldn't think of what to do tonight. Because I, I was going to do pouring. But she had done so much, I didn't know if anybody would want to see more pouring again tonight. So... Pouring is amazing, but it does get kind of stale after a while, which is why I'm glad that the videos uh, we watch, you know, um, a lot of them, they, they alternate. They'll go junk journaling. They'll go, you know, painty papers. They'll do whatever. Uh, and then there's the people that every time I watch a video from them, it's like, oh, <gasps> like Rio and Says. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rio is... I uh, wish I had. I wish I had her paints. Yeah, just, no kidding. Just to do a pour, so I can actually see for myself if there's that much of a difference. Because I know on camera, um, they look so much more vibrant and fluid than you know what I have done myself personally with the paints I use. But I, I would just like to be able to pour once with, like, the top of the line. Like the Goldens? The Goldens, yeah. the Liquitex, well, all we'll of that. We'll have to get some. They're so expensive. I know they Although, are. I know. I think Michael's right now has uh, don't, bought... Don't, don't, don't tell me. Has buy one... La, 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 not buy, listening. What is it? Buy one, get... Buy, is it buy one, get one? can't be buy one get one on liquitex i don't know uh, but it's it's something crazy on liquitex well get a buy one get one and do a pour with just two colors <laughs> yeah uh andrea asks i know the idea is to repurpose discs but can i use any plastic i wouldn't see why not now certain plastics like if you use uh, <laughs> melted down me. milk jugs as long as you melt them down and, and get them into a solid sheet beforehand like even those should be good but you don't want to use something that's really too thin because well you'll get holes in it well that you know. or too thick like the um too thick is good if you've got time to let it bake for an hour well that that uh stuff i do the spit on what's it called uh, the uh, uh, the Lexan. That, I don't know, would work too well. It would be so hard to even cut it. I, uh, you can use a chomper or tin snips to cut it down, yeah. Um, or a scoring system. Yeah, but that's, that stuff's hard to do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Helen says, now art bitch, you have to listen, then surprise her with a boatload for kisses. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if I went and paid that much for paint, I'd expect more than kisses. All right, I'd, well, I'd hope for more than kisses. Hey, my birthday's got to come once a year. Christmas has to come once a year. You're pushing it. <laughs> pushing it, pushing it. 
Yeah, Kiki says the, the, the uh, thick, clear plastic, but it would require much less time and low temp, like soda bottles. Soda bottles, I think you'd have to melt them down into a solid sheet first before... Uh, Exactly. Muena says soda bottles shrink. Uh, same thing with milk oh, jugs or something dinks. like that. Shrinky dinks. Oh, I used to talk about nostalgia. I used to love those shrinky dinks when I was a kid. Oh my god. I would I would all but promise my life to my mother. Please let me get some more shrinky dinks. But Carrie, you do them all in one day. I know, but they're so fun. Please. In the middle of the store, you know. Typical only child pitching a fit in the middle of the store. Gotta love it. Come in here. Aw, oh, didn't want to get blue on there. <laughs> and yes, Helen, I'm too neat to be a crafter sometimes, I think. It, it just annoys me. It's like the little bit of paint I have on here is driving me nuts. <laughs> driving me nuts. Short drive, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Short, short drive. I'm gonna get the paints. Just this green. Where is Booby Magoo? She had to leave. She had to um, make her fella some food. Uh, she had to be farted upon by her fella. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, Donna's back, and she says, "Yay, you're still on." Yep, still here torturing people. We're, we're uh, slowly approaching the three-hour mark. Oh, no. That's, a, that's, a, uh, that's an all-new uh, high for Carrie. I'm going to turn into a pumpkin. I can't believe this year is almost over with. It just seems like it started and now we're getting back into the holiday season. I'm not ready for that. Although I do like to cook. I don't know that I'm in the mood for it. I guess maybe it's my stomach talking too. It might be. Uh, well, just like every other time i you know i i i'm offering to help with whatever you want <laughs> and ju it's just the three of us we really don't Look, need i am body feast i embody the spirit of a little of your, old italian woman of your mom mom no little old italian woman who likes to overcook she expects everybody to manja well, I will definitely manja the hell out of whatever you cook cuz i don't think you've ever made something that was just really inherently bad <laughs> like you know i think once or twice in our 15 year relationship you've overcooked chicken or pork well uh, i'm of the school of thought i'd rather have it overcooked than undercooked because i really don't want food poisoning over something i made yeah. hey mama's at the farm using dadams as phone yeah mama b mama b Good lord, Emily usually streams for four hours straight. Oh. And yeah, no, your streams are definitely fun from the ones I've seen. It's been a while since I've had time to catch them, though. 
Well, when you start at 7.30 but have to be up at quarter after 4, like I said, I'm getting ready to turn into a pumpkin. Yeah. I don't know. I'm tired of these colors. Oh, that's bright. <laughs> Helen says, "Overcooked is better than uh uh, it, huh? Overcooked is better. Undercooked is red and yucky. Oh yeah, she doesn't believe in commas. It's against her religion. <laughs> yeah, they take up space. <laughs> yeah, undercooked is red and yucky. Kids eat her meat mooing. Oh, her kids must like it uh, mooing. I like." I like my steak medium rare. That's as bad as bloody as I get. Yeah, I don't want anything I have to chase down. But it's one thing with beef to, you know, have it a little pink or whatever. But chicken, you know, you think it's done. You take a big bite and it comes back and you look at it and it's red. You no. Know. <laughs> So, I'd rather have dried out chicken than undercooked chicken. Any day of the week. But I haven't done that in a while. I have figured out if I burn myself at least once while I'm making dinner, it turns out fine. <laughs> it's like the seal of approval. Did I burn myself? Yes, it's going to be good. <laughs> I don't think you're illiterate, uh, Helen. I just think you're typing on an iPad. Uh, you know, y yeah, not for much longer. Welcome back, Brandy. Hey, it's Booba Magoo! PJ was just asking about you. I wonder if I could do alcohol inks one here. I don't know how it reacts when you uh, bake it, bake it, broil it, broil it, whatever. They would dry faster. Well, sure. Kiki, is that yes you can with the, oh, after you bake. Okay. Why do you get something to eat every time you go out there? Um, because I forgot to take my Prilosec this morning and I have a burning sensation that... Uh momentarily gets quenched when I eat something. Gotcha. So I'll have a, a bite of something. Or, I don't know. Gotcha. Why is this all about me? Because you're making noise and I can't read the chat room, but I la, can la, hear la, you making la, la, noise. La, la, la. Making more noise so you get annoyed. <laughs> <sighs> Mama B, why didn't you pick your son up on your way down? Because <laughs> I have to work tomorrow. Alright, now that I have clear set, I'm going to try this glitter crap again and see what happens. Cool. And maybe uh, me metallic glitters would help? I don't have metallic glitters. You have mica powder? No, I'm not putting mica powder in. Okay. 
Kiki's having some heartburn too. I got to I got to say Tums never worked for me. When are you uh when are we going down to the farm, honey? I don't know. Why. Um well, cuz uh, Kiki's asking. Uh. I don't know. I don't know. I was going to uh, go down with her this uh, th- this Christmas break, but uh, well, as it turns out, there's a little something in her company called open enrollment lockout. <laughs> uh, essentially, she cannot take off work. Yep. Because she works at a stupid insurance company. I think they'd have a heart attack. Especially when your boss comes to you when you're out for a couple days and goes, Is it really you? Thank God you're back. Oh, it's so good to see you. Mm. I'm sorry, no, your boss is boss. Yeah, my boss is boss. Aw, Jada's off to bed. Night, Jada. She says, I have enjoyed Carrie and PJ, but it's bedtime, I have been told by my granddaughter. <laughs> uh oh, you better listen. You better skadoodle. <laughs> have a good night, Jada. Better skadoodle. Surprised the art inspector hasn't been telling me it's bedtime. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, there they be. So we're gonna let um. Oh, well, actually, I got one more. You sneaky little devils. <laughs> sneaky little devils. Let's just see what this looks like. Yeah, our, where I work, Kiki, they tell me, you know, or they tell everybody, you know, they'd rather us stay home than infect the entire office. And trust me, I take them up on it. That, and we have the ability to work from home when they, when it's convenient for them. So, you know, that comes in handy on snow days for us because being a temp or contractual worker you don't get pto days you don't get anything you know if you don't work you don't get paid sort of thing so when the weather's bad it helps to be able to still make some moolah well that worked pretty good all right so I'm going to let the, that batch uh, actually set up for a while, probably until tomorrow evening. And we'll, oh, you've got to come off of there. <laughs> you suck. That's my stupidity for leaving it there. Oh, well. Can't keep it looking new forever, I guess. But gonna let those dry probably overnight, and I'll throw them in the oven tomorrow evening, and we'll get some pictures up uh, again in the, the art flock and all inclusive and on the website so that you can see whether or not that batch will turn out halfway decent. And I think we're going to call it a night because 4 a.m. comes very early. Very, very early. What say you, uh-huh? I'm I'm trying not to fall asleep myself. Well, I'm exhausted. Well, gee, thanks. No, I'm just <laughs> super tired. You and me both. 
super super tired so uh thank you guys for for showing up tonight and uh for for th clicking that thumbs up button and subscribing unless you're rose because well, apparently rose is too good for that but she's not here to defend herself so i digress uh, anyway uh if you want to check us out go to epiphanycraft.com you'll find all the videos all of the pictures and everything there so um on that note you guys have a great night night y'all <laughs>